and here we are again with another update, so let's check it out. Starting off with the weekly quests, we actually don't have a weekly car, we just have one million dollars that you get. And now there's 25,000 air score. And for the new cars, they actually added the i8, which is called the future. Here it is, and this is what it sounds like when it starts up. It sounds like it's electric. It can get around 150 miles per hour with the score of 360 and a horsepower of 368. And the other car we have is a Contender RT. In real life, this is the 1969 Challenger. At stock, it seems to max out at around 140 miles per hour with a score of 352 and a horsepower of 425. Now I'll upgrade this one and we'll see how good it is. Here it is without the engine swap and it's able to get 668 score and 789 horsepower. And here are the customizations for it. And here it is, fully maxed. Uh, I like this color on it. When it's fully maxed, it can get around 250 miles per hour with a score of 1,035 and horsepower of 1,276. Putting in a V12 into this car kind of ruins it, I think, because the sound, it sounds better when it has a stock engine in it. Now let's upgrade the i8 and try it out. When this car's fully maxed, it has a score of 1,111. And here are the customizations you can put on it. This car is actually pretty quick, it can get over 300 miles per hour, and it doesn't have an exhaust. Also, driving around and hitting stuff now gives you money. And if you buy the Nimbus 977, it actually has two new liveries that you can put on it. And there we go, we have finished all the weekly quests, so let's collect them. And this time around, the quests don't actually have minutes, so once you complete all these, you'll just instantly get this instead of having to wait for the 100 minutes played. And the fastest way to do this is first starting off with doing races, which is doing drag. And once you get to the end of the drag strip, You'll want to take this jump so that you can get some extra air time. And repeating this over and over again, you should be able to finish the air time before you finish the races. But if you don't, if you take this path, you can finish your miles and your air time while you're at it.
and you'll re repeat that over and over again. But if you don't need any airtime, taking the around the world path will be the best for getting miles. Also while doing this, you'll end up going through speed traps, so you're able to finish the speed traps while doing this path. And also while doing drag strip, you're also able to. So if you use the drag pal on the drag strip, you should be able to finish that challenge before you finish the races as well. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.